Okay, 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 okay. Hey guys, Lex Dahl here. I'm Pat Tracy. For Punk Rock Blues. You're wearing blue, and I'm not. Well, this. Yeah, yeah. Not your socks. This is Going In Blind. Episode 3. Episode 3. show where I pick a movie that I love that I've seen. It's not the exact roles. Well. Because I'm going to do one and then there's, we're doing one that well, we, neither of us have I've seen. I've seen this movie. I love it. He's never seen it. Ghost. He's going to love it. Is it Ghost? You've seen I've Ghost. I've seen Ghost. I watched Ghost with you. Did you? All of it? Not all of Parts it. Parts of it. Most of it. Yeah. Up until it's the, good. Up until that part where he, where that guy gets hit by the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, the rest of it. This is going by episode three. So, uh, you know. He can't tell me what the movie is. I can't is tell you what it is. It's going to be on screen and we're going to be like. You know, whoa. Well, It'll be in the um, title. You'll know. But You'll before know. that, I bought you a little something. And so we're going to do, we're going to cut to that. It's going to be a little surprise. He's got a blindfold. I'm going to put this on now, even though there'll be a cut. Yeah. I'm going to be wearing it. It's going to be like time. 15 minutes because he's cooking dinner and stuff. But he's de it's dedication to the going in blind. How many uh, fingers am I holding up? Seven. Yep. No, you you don't get to see towards that. You edit it. <laughs> okay, we'll see you over there. Before we start the movie, we're doing it then. Do you remember a few months ago? Don't take it off yet. Do you remember a few months ago how it was your birthday? Sure. And I kept saying, like, hey, I can't go buy your birthday present because the store isn't open because there's a lockdown. Sure. But I was like, I'll get your present, right? Sure. Remember that? I'm like, all these ones, I'm like, your present's coming. Sure. Now, do you remember in series one of Taskmaster when there's a task of buy the Taskmaster the best gift? And Josh Widdicombe gets a tattoo of the Taskmaster's name on his foot. Yes. And we were like, that's really funny. Yeah. Cool. So take that blindfold off. Wait, what? <laughs> so yeah, I uh, got your name tattooed on my foot. That's silly. That's your birthday present. <laughs> okay. All right. Going in blind. Hit play. This is the reveal. This is the reveal. I am the person being revealed to. Yes. I think it's pretty quick. I think the reveal's pretty quick. It's a Beacon Films production. Is it 13 days? I think it's 13 days. Maybe it is Turner Hooch, honestly, because 13 days might not, I don't think he's about space. Yeah. Hooch is a talking dog, too, so it's yeah. space. And 13 days is about the Cuba. I don't know what this is. I think it's 13 days, though. That's my final guess. It could be 13. Kevin Costner. It could be Three Amigos. Okay, it's not Three Amigos. It's not three amigos. <laughs> what a way to start a film. A lot of explosions. I knew it. 13 days. 13 days. I knew it. Hey, going in blind. We just finished. We just 13 finished. days. 13 Felt like days. it took us 13 hours. Yeah. Well, no, they crammed 13 days into two and a half hours. <sighs> you know, a long movie. Ty Bennington can build a house in an hour. <laughs> it was good. Good. Glad you liked it. Glad what made you want to watch this today? Um... I told you I was going to pick a different movie, but I thought it was we just got it, so you might have guessed it easier. Yeah. Uh, this has been on my radar. I guessed this real easy. Uh, this was on my radar. That's because you went and looked at all the T's and went, I bet it's this one, because I haven't seen it. Um, uh, I It's been on the list since I started going in blind. It was one of the first movies I ever put on. Oh. Then when you told me about Zero to Sixty, I thought this for sure was like I a movie. I literally told Nathan, I was like, yeah, I can't put that one on because Age wants to watch it with me. And uh, so I was like, I want to make sure that 
he doesn't just get the idea of, I'm going to start watching movie, or a number of movies, so then he watches it. Same with The Longest Yard, how he was like remake to reboot. I was like, yeah. oh, I'm showing him Longest Yard. Uh, and then today, doing a Going Blind was the tattoo of having an excuse to shoot one. But yeah, I was going to go with that DV, but I was like, we just got that. He knows yeah. that's on the radar. So I liked it. What did you think? Yeah, I what's liked your start it. Um, I'm going to give it four out of five, because I think it's a really solid movie. Yeah. Some really good performances. Great. But it's one of those movies where I'll probably never watch it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I, I have it in the same vein as, like, Scarface. I think Scarface is very good, but it's like, will I ever watch it again? Probably not. <laughs> you do that Scarface poster, that's all you need. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah, I was, I'm going to give it four stars as well. Yeah, it was really think, good. I, I don't think it's perfect. No. It, I think it would be perfect if it wasn't so procedural and boring. Yeah, and, like, I said, the tone of the movie yeah. stays the exact same. Yeah. It never picks up, it never drops. Yeah, if, it it just, could, if it could really hold you in... It'd probably be a five star movie. Very good performances. Yeah. It's just a little bit boring and slow, and yeah, there's not much excitement. How but much the did you know? Are really good, and the I love the accents. Yeah. Everyone talks in the, the east, east, east. Well, the three of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how much of the Cuban Missile Crisis did you know? Would you not learn a whole lot? <laughs> um, how much did if I anyone learn? doesn't know what this movie is, it's Thirteen Days about the Cuban Missile Crisis. So how much did I learn? I don't know. Yeah, probably a lot. But am I going to retain it? Yeah. No. <laughs> you didn't know Robert Kennedy um, got shot. Yeah, that, that's probably the. <laughs> that's not a spoiler. That doesn't happen in the movie. Spoiler. Also, the movie we can spoil the movie because it's, it's a real life thing. I don't know if I have a lot to say I, because yeah. Dylan Baker was in. Dylan Baker was in it. The he's, cast, <laughs> the cast is very good. Kevin Costner, Stephen Cole, take him or Bruce leave him. Greenwood. Stephen Cole might have been my favorite actor yeah. in the whole movie. Bruce Greenwood, I thought was very good. Bruce Greenwood's very good. I, Dylan Baker's really good. I don't think he looks like JFK or sounds like JFK in any way. <laughs> but um, he's good. But he's good. Charles Esther, yeah. Aston, he was. The guy from Office, and okay. he's the one that gets shot down. Yes, yeah. him. The pilot. Charlie. Yeah, Charles. It's a good movie, though. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Um, I the only downfall is it took us so long to watch <laughs> it. I was getting really agitated yeah. by that. But no, it's it was a good movie. It's good. Um, it's the best movie we have watched on Going in Blind so far. You liked it more than Griff. Yeah, I gave Griff three stars. Well, I think. A, and then the longest yard, I think I gave three stars because the fourth, the the remake's better. And then yeah, this I think yeah. this is the best one. It was a well, really solid movie. There's a lot better to come, because I got a lot on my radar. Ed TV, I don't have high hopes for, because it's directed by Ron Howard, who I notoriously don't really like his work. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I will tell you that... I think he has one super solid movie, and that's Parenthood, and everything else is just kind of bland. I think Matthew McConaughey and, uh, I believe his brother's Woody Harrelson. Yes. Uh... And I'm not a big Woody Harrelson guy, but he's Ron he's Howard pretty... also directed Apollo 13. Yeah, so we got a few, <laughs> we got a few going to blinds <laughs> with Ron Howard sticking yeah. around. But uh, Woody Harrelson, I don't like him very much, but his performance in Ed TV is like Woody Harrelson. Good. I don't know. You're crazy. You know why? Because he reminds me of Chuck Liddell, and I don't <laughs> like watch, Chuck Liddell. You need to watch Kingpin. Oh. Watch Kingpin. So Speaking of like... Kingpin, Big Show, he wants to play Kingpin if they ever reboot Daredevil again. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I like D'Onofrio though. Did I tell you about Big, Big Show and the Big Show Show, about how he got that? No. So ever since The Rock first hosted SNL, he said that if you ever saw him sitting next to Vince, he was probably telling Vince that he wanted his own sitcom. He's like, he knew he could do it. And he said that he would be, he would just berate Vince for like 20 minutes at Gorilla. He would sit at Gorilla and he would just be like, hey, when am I getting that sitcom? This is off topic. Well, you can cut it. But then anyways. I'm not cutting it. Well, Big Show... He said when Kin of Queens came yeah. out, because you know him and Kevin Smith are good yeah. friends, they went to high school together. Kevin Smith? Kevin James? Yes. Him and, uh, so when Kin of Queens came out, he went, oh my god, look, big guy on yeah. TV. Vince banned him from Gorilla for two months. Oh. He wasn't allowed to talk to Vince for two months because, yeah. Wacky. Um, we don't have much to say. I, I love this movie. I watched it in school. There's not a whole lot, because it's just a real life. I, these are the type of movies that I find the hardest to talk about, because it's like, yeah. yeah, it was good, but. It's even not. Said at the it's end, not you super. Went, you know that nothing got bombed. Yeah, I, I, I was like, there was no suspense to me because I'm like, well, yeah, there's conflicts in the movie, but it's gonna be over. Um, and it's just one of those movies where I'm like, it's very good, but it's it's you're in it for the performances. Yeah. Because it's it's not real exciting, and it's not like oh, I'm gonna watch this every week. We did talk about how it was an box office bomb. Oh, it was but a very it was big certified fresh, eighty three percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it was made on a budget of eighty million dollars. And it only grossed sixty six point something. Um, it had a pretty limited release, though. Yeah, but still, yeah. that's I not know. good. Cause I know. You got to think, eighty million dollar budget. You got to double that for marketing, whatever. Yeah. So it lost a lot of money. Yeah, um, I will say one last thing before we sign off. 
uh, as we talked about learning stuff about the Cuban Missile Crisis. I think one of my favorite scenes, not, I mean, favorite scenes, my favorite things that they added. Kevin Costner does a little strut. He does a little strut at one point. Uh, it's the funniest part of the He's also thing. looking out a door. Yeah. Not him, but. <laughs> Skipper. Yeah. Um, There's also the part where uh, RFK says something about how he's not smart, and Kevin Costner responds, well, you're right about the smart part. <laughs> um, but That's how they talk in the movie. They do the whole. But uh, how did you think about seeing the one death of the Cold War? It was a pretty lame death. I think it's neat, though. It's a neat ad. Like, obviously, they should have done it like Goose in Top Gun. Would have been better. I haven't seen that. Oh, well, he shoots out the cockpit. Oh. What, about, go, what about Randy Quaid in Independence breaks his Day? neck. He's the hero. Well, they can't just make up something. It's <laughs> happened. Could. But, uh, yeah. So, 13 Days. Go watch it. We both recommend it. Yeah, I'd recommend it. If you're it. in the mood and you got yeah. some time. Yeah, it's, a, it's two hours. It's two and a half hours. And also, I wouldn't recommend this to everyone. Are you interested in politics or... Or war. Oh, yeah. So probably the people that like war films a lot. They're probably... It's not a war film, though. Well, no, but I mean, like... It's real procedural. If you're into the Cold War and into the Vietnam War, Slow. there's not a lot Slow of Vietnam Vietnam. stuff, but... I imagine this is, the like, Vietnam the right war. stuff. Or 12 Angry Men or something like that. Angry Men, 12 Angry Men, that... Have you seen that? Yeah, it's really yeah. good. <laughs> I've read that, too. I read the... I did the play. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so this is the outro. This is the part we do the outro. Like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It really helps the channel out a lot. And don't forget to uh, subscribe... For more videos and hit that notification bell so you get us all the time. It's free and you can always change your mind. Yeah. And, um, thumbs up. Said that. Did you? Yeah. Oh. I would say it. I kind of want to get a t-shirt made that is the entire outro. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Bat Tracy. You can follow me on Instagram, Stardust, um, Twitter, and Letterboxd at BatTracy01. I've been Lux Dog. You can follow me on Instagram at StraightGCSJerk and on Twitter at Doll. Check out my Stardust or Twitch at LuxDoll. You can follow the channel as a collective on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Punk Rock Blues. I can see that one fast. Mine, I'm like, uh, I don't about this one? And you can pledge to our Patreon at patreon.com slash punkrockblues. We just added a bunch of new tiers or we did tiers. We didn't add any. We didn't We actually took some off. We took, removed, but we changed. Yeah. It's all polished. I think we had like five before. We only had three or four now. We had Ten in a thousand. Ten, fifteen. Now we only have one, three, fifteen, a thousand, I think. Okay. But it was Go one, down three, thousand. ten, fifteen, twenty-five, fifty. Yeah. So six. Uh, this is, yeah, this is it. It's 13 days. Um, I've never heard about this movie. I like, I, I think nobody talks about it because it's a yeah. box office bomb. Because, like, they don't re-release it or it never gets talked about. It's weird. Well, anyone that took... Also, there's no subtitles. You see, Cush class, uh, which was contemporary U.S. history in my high school, it was re it was required as you, that was yeah. one of your social studies classes. So everyone has gone through it now. My generation of at my school, at least, I don't think many people actually, you know, have the Cush class that I had. But uh, so like a lot of people, like everyone I graduated with has, has seen this movie and stuff. So and there's like actually more. You, there's it, more from that movie or that class that are on the list. On the back of this, it tells you to search for 13 days on the web. Yeah. It says internet keyword, 13 days. <laughs> There's a fun fact, fun fact for you. Yeah. This is it. We'll see you next I time. I went in blind, went and in I blind? came out the other side. How was it? It's pretty good. That's this good. one was good. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Yeah. We're going in blind.